when I put it up, it hits the ceiling here. So, <laughs> but I can't put it on my easel because it's um, it's all the way up to the ceiling and it hits the ceiling. And uh, I'll put up my put on my smog so nobody can see my belly. <laughs> you don't need to see my belly. You need to see this painting is cool. That I'm going to do next. Hopefully it comes out as cool as I'm. This is the beginning. This is the end. And what I did was, uh, this is a 48 by, 24 by 48. What I did was I put uh, uh, some of the um, foam on it. And there's also gesso. So it's going to be a very texture paint. That's for sure. So now all I have to do is put the paint on it. So it may just be a black and white painting. Depending on how it comes out. If I want it, it looks. And uh, <coughs> I don't want to put on the music because then I get strikes. You know, I get those copyright strikes. That's why I get them because I forget to turn off the music. Oh, poor me, right? I always forget to turn off the music. Yeah. So I'll put this on that table. I'll clean that to the paint, the brush and the paint. And I'm going to do this, which is what I wanted to do, like a circle here, coming down to that family in Puerto Rico, too. So my family are all from Spain and Puerto Rico, except my stepfather. My stepfather is Italian, so we have, I guess we have family everywhere, because <laughs> I got five, six sisters that are, you know, four sisters that are Italian and three brothers that are half Italian. So there you go. My mother only had one, two daughters with my dad, me and my older sister. We are the only two from the Spaniard that was in the army. And uh, he died very young. So that's why my mother remarried. And guess what? My son's birthday is coming up. I can't believe my son is going to be 39 years old. I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let this drip on the side because I want it to look like it's dripping down the side, the paint here. I'll just let it drip like it's dripping down. trying to make it look perfect you know and most artists don't even do that they probably just throw the paint there and that's it done <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to my michael stipes i love his songs i'm an old time i like old old, old music so See, if I would have done this standing up, it would have been easier for me. And it would have dripped down. It would have looked really nice, the drippings coming down, you know. But I couldn't do it like that. I'm going to have to leave it just the way it is. But I'm happy with the way I did it, so. Mm -hmm. Just painting over those areas that look kind of rough on the edges. Mm -hmm. I'll let this kind of drip off here too. Kind of drippy on the side. It's like a big ole, 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 ole. Like a little O in the middle there. I don't know what it is. But uh, to me, it looks kind of abstract. Yeah. <clears throat> and crafts and everything that goes on around the world. It helps. 
I, I like this grouping. It came down really pretty on this side. came out beautiful on this side. So this is really cool. I like it. And I say I'm done. I'm not going to do anything else. I love it just the way it is. I say once it's dry, I may give it a varnish. Uh, the one, the type of varnish I'll give it will be the triart uh, glass varnish, and it'll go on like a, you know, like a glass on the painting. It'll it'll look really pretty because it'll make everything look like a like a epoxy resin top top, but it's not going to be epoxy resin. It's going to be the triart glass that I use. All right, guys, that is it for this one. Was that not the fastest painting I ever done? Yes, I would say. I may just want to hit a few areas with a little of the white to kind of get that white not to, you know, the little dots of black in here covered. You know, just to cover the little bit of black there, you see. Okay. I can leave it like that. It could dry just like that. Just like a little more texture. That's cool. That's cool. More texture, the better. Yeah. So I'll do this later because uh, I don't want to mess up the painting and make it all, you know, like grayish spots everywhere. But I'm just going to hit these areas so I know later where I have to go to repair certain areas. Yeah. I could leave it like that. It's part of the painting. It's, it just makes it uniquely that way. Yeah. The lead, I'll hit it here, here, and uh, and here. This one I could hit now. It's turning all white, so that's good. That one is done. Done deal there. That's cool. And this one I could just leave it like this. It's fine. Uh, the more I let it dry, the easier it is to fix the, the problem, you know. Let it dry a little bit. And it's drying for oh, oh, I just finished this one for you guys. Look at it. Sorry, I love Michael Stipe. We'll be doing another one. Okay, guys? Love you all. Bye.